our life started when we were born with a body the body has been bred has been cared nursed by worldly visible substances and we are trampling on the earth moving on the earth we are interacting with the world objects in such a life where is our connection with god you may wonder shri krishna explains it very well aham sarvasya prabhavo matta sarvam pravartade iti matva bhajante mam budha bhava samanvita what is your right relationship with god where should you foster it and in what manner here krishna gives a beautiful clue aham ai sarvasya prabhava i am the source for everything everything has originated from me the earth on which you live the seas and the oceans surfacing on the earth the air that surrounds it the so many luminaries that you have fire and the space all are evolved from me alone not only that mattah sarvam pravartade by me alone everything is activated also there is no activity which does not spring from me which is not designed shaped and motivated impelled by me idi matva bhajante mam thinking and reflecting in this manner mam budha bhava samanvitah bhajante i don't know whether you are following what i am saying you know it is one thing to practice devotion collecting a few flowers throwing them at the feet of a lord offering some pudding etc these are all physical and material items but here it is purely resting upon your mind and its imagination what is god he is the originator of everything the source of everything god mattah sarvam pravartade from god alone because of him alone every activity takes place i always ask people you are doing a worship you are the worshipper the worshipper has to get up early in the morning his heart has to beat his lungs have to breathe bellow the beating of the heart and the bellowing of the lungs are they taking place first and subsequently you start worshiping or because of the worship these two take place you answer me so who is responsible for making the heart beat the lungs breathe mattah sarvam pravartade whether it is in a minute manner or a majestic magnificent measure i am the cause of all activations idi mattwa think in this manner the wind is blowing because of god the water is flowing because of him the earth is spinning and revolving only because of his greatness and power if the sun and the moon and the stars are shining tameva bhanta anubhati sarvam when he shines all these luminaries have their respective brilliances everything is because of him imagine in this manner bhajante mam budha bhava samanvita this is a samanyutatva a kind of a conjunction or a connection with god through bhava mind is the functional element here that is the constituent so in the mind you start revolving thoughts of this kind god all pervasive all source all activation everything is because of him there is no necessity for me to identify him in anything particular on the other hand he has to be identified with everything absolutely generally and wholesomely now this kind of a development in your attitude an expansion an expansion a wholesomeness in your attitude this is a mental process so in real devotion the mind alone works mayeva mana adhatsva mai buddhim niveshaya krishna says in the 12th chapter of bhagavad gita fix your mind on me equally place your intelligence also in me then you start living in me he says budha bhava samanvitah budhah means knowledgeable people people given to introspection given to enquiry given to the process of understanding and assessment aham sarvasya prabhavo matta sarvam pravartade idi matva bhajante mam 
ബുധ ഭാവസമന്വിത വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദയർ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഹി സൈസ് മച്ചിത്ത മദ്ഗത പ്രാണ ബോധയന്ത പരസ്പരം മച്ചിത്ത മച്ചിത്ത മീൻസ് ചിത്ത മീൻസ് മൈൻഡ് മച്ചിത്ത മീൻസ് ദ മൈൻഡ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഗിവൺ ടു മീ ഫിക്സ്ഡ് ഓൺ മീ ദയർ മൈൻ മേ ബി അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദ ബോഡി ദ ബോഡി മേ ബി അപ്പോൺ ദ എർത്ത് but in the mind it is completely the thought of god memory of god relationship with god reliance on him fondness for him this is what saturates the mind therefore the mind is completely filled with godliness mad gata prana all their activities only because of prana that pranic propulsion they are also completely given off to the lord just like an offering ബോധയന്ത പരസ്പരം വെൻ എവർ സച്ച് ഡിവോട്ടീസ് മീ ടീച്ച് അതർ ദേ ഓൺലി സ്പീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് പ്രോസസ് പരസ്പരം ബോധയന്ത ദേ വിൽ ഓൺലി സ്പീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഗോഡ് ഹൗ ഹി ഫീൽസ് എവരിവെയർ ഹൗ ഹി ഫീൽസ് എവരിവെയർ ബോധയന്ത പരസ്പരം കഥയന്തശ്ച മാം നിത്യം തുഷ്യന്തി ചരമന്തിജ കഥയന്തശ്ച മാം നിത്യം നിത്യം continuously daily incessantly kathayantascha maam they will speak only about me they will have nothing else to speak tushyanti jaramantija by so doing what is happening something very rarely happens all the other people want to be happy want to be comfortable want to be peaceful want to be joyous but they are missing it throughout here not being worldly they are able to get all the joy contentment and exaltation tushyam dijaramandija tushyam dijaramandija start reading shrimad bhagavatam start hearing shrimad bhagavata narrations start discussing shrimad bhagavata message values and truths you will find you will start delighting that revelry exaltation will be available to you for such devotees what do i do tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam preeti purvakam see these are words and phrases which are to be specially read and understood tesham satata yuktanam satata yuktanam tesham those people for those people satata yuktanam by virtue of listening discussion remembering and reminding satata yuktanam they are inwardly united with me constantly because mind is the factor their mind is employed in me connected to me remembers me reminds me always remembering my exploits bhajatam preeti purvakam in their worship there is a delight right from the beginning it is not worship for getting delight it is a worship starting delightfully so their worship becomes delightful they after all like to collect good flowers beautiful flowers clean them up and trace them collect them in a good vessel the vessel is cleaned up very well and the flowers also are cleaned up placed in an orderly manner they will never allow to wither it in any manner and then they will go and place it at the feet of the lord looking at it collecting it taking it they are always delightful very delightful it is not that they are going to de- get delight and what are they doing they are doing nothing people are undertaking a lot of strain in order to become joyous but they get the joy without any trouble bhajatam preeti purvakam for such devotees what do i do dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mam upayanti de i give them buddhi yoga mark these words mark these words i try to enlighten them enlighten them buddhi yoga yoga is the pursuit spiritual pursuit and in that pursuit buddhi is the element that functions that buddhi yoga i give ye namam ubayanti te by virtue of which they attain me they attain me they come to me they have a once for all merger with me and this merger is accomplished by buddhi yoga buddhi yoga what did krishna say to arjuna in the battlefield krishna said this what did he say 
മാം അനുസ്മര യുദ്ധ അർജുന റിമെമ്പർ മീ റിമെമ്പർ മീ ബി യുണൈറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് മീ ത്രൂ റിമെമ്പറൻസ് റിമെമ്പർ മീ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഫൈറ്റ് ദെൻ ഫൈറ്റ് ദ ഫൈറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ സെക്കൻഡറി നോട്ട് റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് മീ ഷുഡ് ബി ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സോ ദ ഹോൾ ഫൈറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് എ യോഗ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ യൂണിയൻ വിത്ത് ദ ലോഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ബ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ ഗീവ് ദം സച്ച് എ ബുദ്ധി യോഗ തേഷാം ഏവാനുകമ്പാർത്ഥം അഹം അജ്ഞാനജം തമഹ നാശയാമ്യാത്മഭാവസ്ഥോ ജ്ഞാനദീപേന ഭാസ്വത തേഷാം ഫോർ ദോസ് പീപ്പിൾ വിച്ച് പീപ്പിൾ ഭജതാം പ്രീതിപൂർവകം ദേ ഡോൺ കൺസിഡർ വെർഷിപ്പ് ടു ബി ആൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻ എ ഡൈവേർഷൻ ഓർ എ സ്ട്രെയിൻ നോ 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 they consider worship to be a delightful a delightful part of their life if they don't worship they become miserable if they don't think of god it is something like a fish out of water that kind of a unity they have been able to feel tesham eva anukampartham becoming taking pity on them aham ajnanajam tamaha i destroy their ignorance destroy their delusion nashayam yatma bhavasto jnana deepena bhaswada i enter into their heart and there i light the lamp of wisdom and when the lamp of wisdom is lit there is a lot of brilliance in their mind inside and in that brilliance all the ajnana ignorance and delusion completely flees they are not there i don't know whether you are able to relate it my dear viewers what is he saying in devotion also you are suffering from the feeling of duality you are not able to think of god as all pervading and one once you understand he is all pervading and only one you are not separate from him he is not separate from you no search no seeking no attainment everything becomes natural like the panjabhudas you are also one you are sentient sentient the only sixth factor as sentient you are present everywhere like the sky there is no distance from god there is no finding about god there is no losing god there is no gaining god everything becomes one already full so that ignorance makes brings the sense of separation seeking searching etc all that completely gone i light the wisdom by entering their heart there i try to make them understand the truths of the scriptures just like krishna explained everything to arjuna in a matter of two and a half hours at the end of which arjuna said nashto moha spadar labdha tat prasadan maya chuda gatosmi kadas sthit sthitosmi gatasandeha karishye vajanam tava nashto moha my moha my delusion is gone smrutir labdha i have understood that i am a kshatriya i have come here to fight and this fight is not meant for regaining kingdom for me and my kitan kin this is a fight for establishing righteousness righteousness and it is opposed by the unrighteous people unrighteousness cannot win over righteousness if i fail in this war righteousness fails i have no stand separate from that as a powerful kshatriya i cannot allow wickedness to be having the upper hand in the world i have to put it down i am doing it this kind of a feeling he got smrutir labdha tat prasadan maya chuda by virtue of your blessings i have got this sthitos me i am stable now i told you earlier krishna that i was not able to stand the gandhi was slipped from my hand and i sat tired unable to stand absolutely trembling my mind whirling my mouth drying up but now i am very stable i am poised i take back my bow my bow and i can fight many wars all because of your blessings this is what is going to happen tesham evanukampartham aham ajnanajam tamaha 
నాశయామ్యాత్మభావస్థో జ్ఞానదీపేన భాస్వత దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ క్లియర్ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ ఇల్యూమినేషన్ అండ్ ఎన్లైటన్మెంట్ ఫర్ ద డివోటీస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఆల్ ప్రాక్టీస్ డివోషన్ చాంటింగ్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దేర్ ఈస్ సంథింగ్ కాల్డ్ క్లియర్లీ an illumination for the devotee an enlightenment for the devotee which will take away all feelings of separation doubt and distance from the lord smarandah smarayandascha mitho agahu gaharam harim bhaktya sanjadaya bhaktya vibhratyu pulagam tanum see this devotion is a very beautiful wholesome practice and when it is sufficiently given to by one a very earnest warm hearted devotee without any kind of a guilt or reservation in his mind you will find it starts welling forth welling forth creating or causing unleashing a number of symptoms in the body so beautiful it soaks you and completely covers you up with thrills and ecstasy smarantah smarayantascha mitho aghaugaharam hari hari the supreme lord auspicious lord hari i describe him always as parama kalyana niti he is actually a treasure a treasure of supreme felicity f e l i c i t y felicity smarantah first of all the devotee starts remembering him smarayantah he also reminds others if you see a good and a lofty devotee you cannot but victim but become a victim of devotion he will be like that that is why you find people wearing a rudraksha garland or maybe a sandal garland they start wearing dresses in which it is written narayan 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 you know you find they put a lot of sandal paste on the forehead they smear it sometimes here they grow the beard or shave off see this is the way it because they are very happy they are reminded themselves they also remind the others they remember also mitho aghaugaharim aghaugaharam harim the supreme lord hari is described by shrimad bhagavata here prabuddha here aghaugaharam hara means to rob to rob to deplete aghauga even a heap a large a himalayan heap of sin everything will be destroyed by the lord mitha mitha so they rem- remember as well as remind so devotees start gathering together <coughs> a satsang is held each one looks at another devotee the sight is apart from a person he comes there as a devotee so there there is a devotional bond a devotional intimacy a devotional interaction taking place and then the whole thing is revolving around the supreme lord parama kalyana nidhi the lord of supreme felicity who is capable of taking away all the sins from you bhaktiya sanjataya bhaktiya when you start becoming pronounced in your devotion in remembering the lord in reminding others of the lord in engaging in conversations about him in listening to godly narrations godly explanations all that then the original normal bhakti which you may have inherited or you are given to from that bhakti the true devotion springs forth springs forth initially it was only devotion either in words or in practice now it becomes devotion in full fledged expression display manifestation bhaktiya sanjataya bhaktiya these are very typical usages classical usages of shrimad bhagavatam from bhakti arises true bhakti from normal habitual or conventional devotional practices the true devotion wells forth from your heart it permeates the whole body the biological aggregate of your body and some sensations thrills and ecstasies start becoming manifest 
bibhradi utpulagam tanum it covers the whole body with haripulesh with roma harshana it happens very rarely people have roma harshana when they are frightened they have a sensation when they are delighted they must equally have a sensation so the trickling of the eyes the eyes can trickle from here and from here this portion is generally hot when you have grief and it is saline from here it is cool and also sweet bhaktiya sanjadaya bhaktiya bibhrati utpulagam tanum kujid rudandya chuda chindaya kujid hasandi nandandi vadandi alaugika nrityandi gayandi anushilayandi ajam bhavanti tushnim parametya nirvrata this devotional pursuit to begin with it is in the form of physical practices as it grows it occupies and engulfs your mind further your intelligence everything becomes reflective in the form of imagination in the form of introspection wanting to know more etc wanting to redress the pangs of separation all this struggle everything will be there as it grows further and further it begins to express freely unhindered and these expressions are mentioned here kujit rudanti achyuda chindaya kujit hasanti it is put in a plural number not in a singular number don't think that the devotion will bless only one person in a state of the india it's not so rudanti so many people can be involved in this rudanti sometimes they cry why they cry with the feeling oh such a great possession such a great enrichment why is it that i did not possess it try for it earlier my whole life has been a waste when god was so near so pleasant so comfortable so delightful so ecstatic so exhilarating and thrilling why is it that i missed him all along i cannot excuse myself this is the way i get a number of letters all of them are writing uniformly not one knowing the other swami ji why did you not appear beforehand i should have heard this 20 years back 20 years back my whole life would have been different why did i miss it at least now i had the opportunity and fortune to listen to you so there is a sorrow there is an agony my dear lord why is it that i missed you so long you were there everywhere all pervading but i hunted you in some specific places i hunted so many temples everywhere i found the idol but i was missing you i was never able to bring you along with me after seeing the idol we are generally installing the lord in the puja room and we close the door asking the lord to remain there not to come along with us so this is the feeling of grief kujid rudandi achyuda chindaya kujid hasandi on the other hand they laugh and smile why at least now i have been able to get i feel a touch i feel an embrace i feel a fullness from him nandandi vadandi alaugika they start speaking so beautifully and complimenting me to everybody they will fill a room and a conversation with divine laughter and joy alone alaugika vadandi in their speech you will find an unworldly or a super world super worldly note normally when people meet together you will find only conversations of a worldly character what artha and kama prosperity wealth and passion desire and its fulfillment but here the story becomes different they have something very ecstatic to speak about and that is the divinity in life the divinizing of life the spiritualization and devotionalization of our life alaukika ha vadanti whenever they meet and talk they will only speak about god Thank you.